Uh, okay, let me get this off comfortable. I've got my tea here. Mm -hmm. Delish. Hi, and welcome to Woven Worlds. So on the video of today, my soul sister is going to take over. So I'll leave you now with my soul sister. Take it away, soul sister. So today I want to talk about healthy boundaries. I couldn't keep going back and forth with the mug. So I'll just put it down and excuse the, the acoustics. I'm in a different room in my house. So if it seems quite echoey, that's why. Setting boundaries is so important in life, no matter what type of relationship you have with those around you. They indicate to both yourself and others that you value your time and energy. And if you're like me, it can feel difficult and a bit scary to establish boundaries in the first place. I'm sure I'm not the only one who struggles with it. But for real. Establishing healthy boundaries is so important for a variety of reasons. For one, they can reduce stress and anxiety if and or when you feel overwhelmed. This is important because stress can affect your everyday life in ways you never thought were possible. And who wants to live a life full of stress? Not me. Now again. Establishing boundaries can be very scary because someone being upset with you for changing and growing can be a little jarring. But what's more important? Not upsetting someone to keep the peace? Or knowing peace of mind is your birthright? It can't be both, sweetheart. You can't serve two masters. I say this as someone who still finds it difficult to find her voice when someone violates a boundary. Usually it's when I don't even realise I need a boundary there until I feel violated. You know, that feeling when someone says or does something to you that makes you feel very uncomfortable. I never grew up realising that boundaries were even necessary. And even when I did try to somehow subconsciously establish a boundary, they were rarely, if ever, received positively. So, of course, not only have I found it difficult to even establish boundaries, but I felt fearful of establishing boundaries in the first place because I never felt safe to. Sticking up for yourself, asserting yourself, protecting yourself, is honouring yourself, body, mind and soul. Doing the opposite is telling yourself and others that you don't love or respect yourself. And unfortunately, people will take advantage, sometimes without even realising it. Either way, do right by yourself by practising establishing healthy boundaries for your own sake. Love yourself enough to know you are worthy of feeling safe and living your life to its fullest potential. It's definitely a learning curve. And the beginning can be scary. Doing something like this that can ultimately change the trajectory of your relationships can feel wild, especially because you don't know how they're going to react. But staying small for the sake of not rocking the boat will be worse for you in the long run. You deserve healthy relationships with healthy boundaries. So take a moment, go inward and see where and why a boundary needs to be created. Journal about it, pray about it, meditate about it. Talk to someone you trust, you know will give you good advice. See what comes up and then take it from there. Then talk to the person who overstepped your boundary and be firm in your reasoning. They don't always have to get it. They just need to know it's there. And if they can't respect your boundary, you might want to rethink your relationship with that person. Because to respect and honour you is to respect and honour your boundaries. Regardless of the outcome, always move with grace and compassion. Be assertive when standing in your truth. 
because there are people out there dedicated in the lie that you don't deserve any boundaries. But don't ever let them make you feel bad for radically loving yourself enough to know your worth. So I hope this helps you find your feet when it comes to creating healthy boundaries. Have you set any boundaries yourself recently? How has it been setting and creating boundaries with those around you? I want to hear it all. Sound off in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Also, to your family, your friends, your cats, your dogs, your enemies, your frenemies, um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, your archangels. Tell your favorite pop star. Tell Beyonce. Tell Beyonce. I would be weird if you told Beyonce about this video, but I mean, you know, like, you know, it'd be great if she not existed, but whatever. Anyway. Any comments, thoughts, or anything you wish to share based on the video, based on anything else that you just want to comment, you can always do that on the comment below, or you can visit us on our social media pages that will be showing as well on the description box. Don't forget to turn on the notifications to tell you whenever we upload a video. See you next time. Take care, guys. And as usual, stay safe. Mwah. Bye. I forgot to blow the kiss. Bye. <laughs>